I just saw a thread on AT um, asking what pack to get. The guy packs in his Lone Wolf Alpha, or I should say Lone Wolf Assault maybe, some sticks, and he was wondering a pack to get with it. Um, I actually just went through this dilemma this past summer. I bought a Super Day pack, um, and then I went and sold it probably a week or two later because uh, it just didn't work out for me as far as being able to pack in my stand, my sticks, and my, and my backpack. I just couldn't wear it all on my back at the same time. So I ended up uh, going with the Monster Fanny Pack. I did a lot of research um, about fanny packs. So I decided to go with the fanny pack. A couple things I liked about it. It has shoulder straps. Um, I took them off. But if I'm doing some scouting, I'll usually throw the shoulder straps on. And then I can hike around and not worry about the pack being uncomfortable. Um, when I'm hunting, I took the straps off because I like to wear it in the front uh, on shorter walks. Um, so that I can wear my stand and my sticks on my back. Also, um, if it's a longer walk, I will actually won't even wear the fanny pack. I will hang it over the back of the stand off the top and just let it hang there. Um, so that's kind of what I do with my, my fanny pack. Once I get up in the tree, I, uh, I can basically uh, strap this right to the tree. I usually hang a bow hook, strap it right to the tree, um, and then I have all my pockets available pretty easily. Um, and then I usually will strap my quiver onto my top strap right here. I'll strap my quiver on there, cinch it down nice and tight so I have a, an extra arrow available to me whenever I might need it. Um, also, on my walk in, I'll typically put my pants or my jacket on the bottom. It's got the cinch straps, plenty long for um, my, my fleece pants or my fleece jacket. Not both, though, that's for sure. I can only get one on there. The other thing I just throw into onto my stand and bungee it down, and it only takes a second to bungee it down. Um, so that's what I do with my pack, basically, on the way in. And once I'm in the tree, um, the thread had a question about how much stuff he needed to fit. I can fit all my gear, basically, for an all-day sit-in here. If I need to pack an extra sandwich, I'll pack an extra sandwich and, and find somewhere to fit. I usually will carry, like, a 32-ounce water bottle, um, but I left that at work, and then I also, um, will carry in my saws and things like that in here. So I'm just going to go through my pack, show you everything I can fit in here. Um, I like the pocket in the front. It's nice for, um, getting my binoculars are in there. So these are just 8x32s, not huge, um, but they're not small either. So kind of see them next to my blazers there. Um, inside that pack I also usually will just throw an extra neck warmer. Um, some old candy bar wrappers from the last time out. There's a little nice uh, pocket in here that, that I like as well. I'll throw my uh, lens cleaner in there. There's also one in the front that you could throw your keys in or your wallet in so you don't lose them if you're uh, on public land or not hunting near your cabin. Um, so that's what I usually put in the front pocket. I have a little side pocket right here. It's good for knives, GPSs, uh, maybe a smaller um, range finder. In here I just have my uh, wind checker, um, milkweed, and then behind it I have some tacks in there that I use. If I'm uh, hunting a stand on some land I haven't hunted before and I want to get back in there in the morning uh, for a morning sit. Um, on the other side I usually throw my knife uh, in here. There's my knife. I have an extra set, an extra Allen set in case something goes wrong with my sight or something. A couple gloves. That's what I throw in there. On the top, this is where I put most of my things. There's a nice little zipper pouch in the back that we can access. So in there I usually keep a map if I'm hunting some new public land I've never hunted before. Um, I keep some extra gloves. Um, in case I shoot something, and then I also have uh, just an extra compass. Uh, I usually have one in my pocket as well, but I like to keep two of them. And this is usually where I'll throw my sandwiches, right in this pouch on top here as well. So that's what I can get in the top. And then I can open up the main compartment, hopefully with one hand. And this is where I can get most of my stuff. And you, you can actually see the things that were on this top pouch through there. Um, I have a extra hat in there. Uh, usually a rack. What is it called? The pack rack. 
Um, Thermosal early season. I usually don't have that in there late season. I just put it in there before I start the video. I keep my climbing belt. Um, I keep an extra rope in there just in case I need to drag something out. So you can see the things starting to pile up. I also keep uh, a big bow hanger in there. Quick tip. I always just put a cork on the end of it. It doesn't poke a hole in it. I have also have a small one, but I think I left it in the tree. Unless it's in one of my other pockets. Keep an extra pair of gloves. An extra flashlight. Um, and that is all that I have in that pack. Or in that compartment. On the side, I keep my pull-up rope. Right here. I keep my two calls. There's just two calls in there. You can obviously fit whatever you want. This one's kind of big. I don't really like it that much. It's too big. And then on the other side, I keep my... Uh, and I obviously left my bow hook in the tree because I don't have my cork on it. I keep my saw, Wicked Tree Gear. Awesome saw. And just a pair of pruners. And uh, that's it. Um, I usually throw my 32 ounce water bottle on the top too in that main compartment. So that's everything that I can fit in my uh, in my pack. It's good for all day sits. Good for you know morning sits. Um, typically, I don't take anything out. I leave stuff in there all year long. That way, I know where it is and I know that I have it. And that's just where I store most of my stuff. So, hope you enjoyed the video.